Everybody else is doing it, but I'm not going to play the top 10 game because that's just a guessing game. I'm going to knock it out with facts. These are the top three things that are going to happen in 2022. Number one, economic collapse. We've been in a recession since 2020. The global supply chain is in a crisis, and they estimated it will last over two years. Now, there are two key indicators for an economic collapse. It's not the stock market. That just is what happens. But the two key indicators are actually pretty simple. The first one is high inflation, and the current calculated inflation level is 68 but <laughs> they're lying to you. And here's why. There's something called calculated inflation. You might want to look it up. We're currently sitting at 15%, which is unbelievably high. It's even higher than the Great Recession. The next thing is high unemployment. Now, how do, key, how do, how do high inflation and high employment link together? It's actually pretty simple. The administration is once again lying to us. There are currently 30 million working age men that are not inside the workforce. They're not even accounted for in the unemployment numbers. Well, let's, let's see. Uh, that's, that's a lie. You can make math do anything you want. You can make a percentage do anything you want as long as it's within your agenda. So we've got a, the highest inflation possible. We've got 30 million men not in the workforce, not even being accounted for. Yeah, there's going to be an economic collapse. Now, as close as I can tell, and based on the research that I've done, it's going to be between somewhere between April and June of this year. All I can say is fill your pantries and stop getting into debt. Number two, green energy slash the power grid. Hmm, the power grid. How do these things, you say, how do these things, how are these things aligned? It's actually pretty simple. We already know, and if you didn't know this via Amazon and pretty much every other person who's got any common sense, China controls the solar power market. Almost all of the photovoltaic cells are made in China by little bitty hands that aren't quite teenagers. Yeah, that's actually what's happening. So we know that. You're like, oh, okay, local prepper, we know this. Yeah, no, no, no. Let me shed a little... Let me share a little information with you. Let me educate you real quick. A lot of people aren't paying attention to this. What's the other part of green energy? Well, there's solar. Hmm. Wind. Check this out. Did you know that Germany, Denmark, and Spain control 45% of the, the global market share for wind power in the world? Did you also know that China... Yeah, China has four government-sponsored companies. Goldwyn at 13.8%, Envision at 8.4%, Mingyang at 5.2%, and Seawind at 2.3%. Yeah, that's right. China commands 30% of the global market share for wind energy. Hmm, how does that affect us? It's actually pretty simple. The United States only has one serious company, and that's GE, that does any of the that commands any of the global market share, and they have about 10% of that. That's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. If you do the math, China controls 96% of the U.S. market share for wind energy. So, well, wait a minute. Did do not we just go on to give all this money to green energy? We want to get we want to have solar panels and we want to have wind energy and um oh shit who controls that now you know that there will be a global or there will be a u.s energy crisis that will be forced on us prior to the 2024 election no prior to yeah yeah, yeah the 2024 election expect it number three that thing we can't talk about. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. What I will tell you is a bunch of facts. Currently, fact. Blue states equal lockdowns. Red states equal freedom and prosperity. We're moving back towards that sovereignty thing, guys. Medically, the death rate has dropped from over 30% in March of 2020 
currently 2%. And we won't even talk about the Transformer version that isn't killing anybody. Yeah, this thing is pretty much going to be done with here shortly. But they're, they're going to try and drag it out. And they're going to try and do it through several means. But here's the key. The feds are currently questioning state sovereignty. Now, before all you guys get all up in arms about state sovereignty, I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to ask you, I'm going to tell you, go back and read your Federalist Papers and stop trying to be constitutional historians. We are the United States of America. We are not America. Now, if you're from around here, it's just America. Anywho, hope I didn't blow your ears on that one. The reality is, is that they're going to try and stretch this out and try to make it more and more and more and more worse than it is. And of course, we've got to worry about that new French one, but I mean, come on, it's French, brown pants. We know the deal. Anywho, the reality is, is that they're not going to be able to use it against us anymore, but they're going to try and they're going to do it for the dumbest reasons on the planet. Don't fall for it. So those are my top three predictions that will come true in 2022. Until the next time, stay safe, have a great day, and yeah, go to my TikTok page, The Local Prepper. Stop screwing around. There are no drones circling your house because you went on TikTok. The Chinese government is not interested in your sorry ass, so don't worry about them. They're tracking you anyway through some other app that you put on your phone to monitor your diet or check the weather or, yeah, they're doing that. All right, guys, stay safe, have a great day, and I'll talk to you when I talk to you. Bye-bye.